In this video, I will walk you through how to execute JUnit Selenium tests and upload the test results using the TestRail CLI. For this, I'm going to use a sample project, which you can find on the TestRail GitHub repository. In GitHub, you can find more samples to integrate TestRail with other automation and CI CD tools. I already cloned the repository, and here you can see the project. Let's have a look at the README file first. There are some prerequisites to execute this project. The first one is that Java be installed on the system. You can quickly check that using the Java hyphen version command. The next prerequisite is Maven. All good here. And the last check is for Python. To use the TestRail CLI, we recommend that Python version 3.10 or higher should be installed on the system. I already have Chrome installed, so all these four prerequisites are fulfilled. Now, let's look at the tests I'm going to run. In the SRC folder, you can see the homepage test Java class. In this class, there are three tests. The first one is to verify the title of the TestRail homepage. Another test is to verify the presence of a demo link on the homepage. And the last one is an invalid test. I deliberately created this test to fail, so you can see how it's uploaded to TestRail. In this class, you can also see a setup method and a teardown method. In the setup method, I'm passing some arguments as options. One option is saying that I want to run Chrome in the headless mode. The teardown method is creating the driver after each test is completed. Now, to run the tests, use the command maven clean compile test. This command is going to install the test project and run tests for you. Let's try it. When you execute this command, you will see the test getting started. And then you will get a report. Here, the report says that I got one failed test out of three tests. The failure is exactly the invalid test, which I wanted to fail. If you refresh the folder structure now, you will see a target folder. Within this target folder, you can find a testjunitjupyter.xml file. This is the kind of XML report required to use the TestRail CLI. Here, you can see the test results. The test to verify the title of the homepage and verify the presence of a demo link in the homepage have passed. And here, you can see the failed test with the information of the exception. Let's go back to the README file for the next step. The next step is to install the TestRail CLI. To do that, you will need to execute the command pip install trcli. Once the testrail CLI is installed, the next step is to upload the test results to testrail using another command. In this command, you can see the different options. The hyphen y option automatically creates all entities for you in testrail. Hyphen c option defines the path of the testrail configuration file. The hyphen f option is the path of the report. Before uploading the test results, let's have a look at the configuration file. Here you have the information about the host, project, username, password, and title. Username and password are the credentials that you're going to use to log into your TestRail instance. The project is the name of the project where you want to upload your test results in TestRail. The title is the name of your new test run. Now, let's execute the command to upload test results using the TestRail CLI. First of all, it's giving us the information I have in the configuration file. The URL of the TestRail instance the project name, which is TestRail CLI code first, and then the run title, JUnit Selenium Automated Test Run. The CLI has processed three test cases in one section, created the test run, and added three test results in 5.5 seconds. So the test results are already uploaded to TestRail. Let's verify them. I'm going to the target TestRail instance and then to the project mentioned in the configuration file. The project was TestRail CLI code first, now to the test runs and results page. You can see the latest test run which has been uploaded. If you click on the name of the test run, you will see all the test results, two past tests, and one failed. To see further information, you can click on this icon to expand the details and show the exception that caused the test to fail. On the top left, you can also see the summary of the test run and the percentage of the test that passed. All this information reflects real-time progress of your test run. That's it. This is how you can use the TestRail CLI to upload your JUnit Selenium test results to TestRail and take advantage of having your automated and manual tests all in one place. I hope this video was useful to you.